Okay, so I'm in a new project. I imported my clip. I'm just going to mark some in and out points because I don't want to use the whole thing. Alright, I'm going to drag it into a new comp. Now I don't want all this extra stuff outside the green screen, so I'm just going to get rid of that with the pen tool. So I'll start here just so I know the extent of where his body is. Okay, so now I know what I can get rid of. Okay, mask is done. And uh, as you can see, the green screen footage isn't the best. It has a lot of crinkles and creases in it and some shadows. But the great thing about this effect is it's very forgiving uh, when it comes to your green screen footage. Because we're compressing it so much and we're pixelating it, um, it's not going to matter so much. So I'm going to go ahead and put the key light on there. And I like to choose a value that's not too bright and not too dark somewhere in the middle like right here and I also like to put uh, a solid color behind or under this layer just so I can see things a little more clearly okay let's bump up the screen gain maybe like right here and you can see there's some shadows there it's not a huge deal so I'm just gonna grab the key cleaner I find this works really well at uh, shaping up the edges and just making it look a lot nicer. Just bump the alpha contrast up pretty much just a hundred percent. Maybe hit reduce chat or two. And I'm gonna change the um, the resolution to a third just to speed this up a little bit so I can play it. So basically, our main effect here is gonna be called mosaic and it's under stylized, not the animation presets. And turn on sharp colors, and what you can see is this turns the video into pixels. Um, so right now it's set to 10 wide by 10 high. So I'm gonna change that to 64 by 64. I usually like the way that looks. You could, cha um, you could lower it, you could try 32 by 32, or you could go higher. I find 32 by 32 or 64 by 64 is typically what looks best, but it's just a matter of preference. So I'm gonna go back up to 64. What we're gonna do now is add the cartoon effect. And we wanna drag this above mosaic. Essentially, we want a mosaic to be applied after all of our other effects. So I'm gonna turn off mosaic just so we can see what this looks like. And the cartoon effects, this really just comes down to preference. I would recommend just playing with all these values and seeing what looks best. Um, I would bump the radius, the detail radius up pretty much all the way. And the detail threshold, I would bump that up all the way as well. Not quite all the way, maybe, maybe 40. I would recommend turning down and shading smoothness. Maybe, maybe not. Again, it depends on what you like. And for me personally, I would just turn off the edges just set the opacity to zero and I think I'm gonna turn edge enhancement to zero alright let's see what that looks like with the mosaic effect back on alright that looks a lot better now let's export um, before we do that however we want to change it so that it's the size of an actual sprite because right now it's at 1920 by 1080 we want to change it so that it's actually 64 by 64 or maybe a little larger than that to give us a little bit of wiggle room so let's go into Control K to open up the composition settings. And I'm going to change the composition size to 80 by 80. Now it makes it really small, so let's scale this down. Now you can see it made it really blurry. Now to fix this, all we have to do is go into the sampling tab here, right next to the effects toggle. And we want to switch it to this one here. Uh, it looks like a little pixelated line. And as you can see, it made the pixels nice and sharp. And it looks a little weird here. Um, that's because I have one third resolution turned on. If you go into full, it'll show you what it will actually look like when you render it. Um, now let's get rid of the solid here. So we have a nice transparent background. And we can go into the render queue. Now a couple things that are important here. Under the render settings, we have to make sure the quality is set to current. Um, otherwise, it's going to ignore our sampling uh, thing that we just switched. 
All right, under format, we want to choose PNG sequence. It's going to give us um, a huge sequence of pictures. And we want to change RGB to RGB plus alpha. Um, so we have transparency. All right, it's done. Uh, you're welcome to stop here, but I'm going to take this into a sprite uh, and do some further editing and see if I can't make this look even better. All right, I just opened up a sprite. Uh, I'm going to open the file and I'm in the folder where it saved all the pictures. And the nice thing about a sprite is if you click one of these and hit okay, it'll give you the option to just load the animation with all the pictures that were in the folder, which is really nice. So you can see the animations playing right there. But one thing we want to do to begin with is we want to have our own palette because these colors are just the colors that came from the camera. So what we're going to do is go into load palette. You can just choose whatever palette you want. Uh, Lowspec.com is a really great place to get palettes. I'm just going to choose this one here. All right, it didn't do anything now, but when I go into sprite, color mode, and I change it to indexed, and now we have it in our own color palette. So I'm just going to go through and do a whole bunch of stuff, and I'll show you guys what I did when I finish. This is the finished product. I'm pretty happy with this. Thanks for watching.